Let's draw the Lewis structure for SO3. This is sulfur trioxide. So the first thing we do with Lewis structures, we want to count the valence electrons up. And the periodic table can help us with that. So we find sulfur right here. This is in group 16, sometimes called 6A. We have six valence electrons for sulfur. Oxygen is in the same group as sulfur. It has six valence electrons, but we have three oxygen atoms. We'll multiply that by three. Six plus three is 18 plus six, 24 total valence electrons for the SO3 Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative atom in the center. So we're gonna put the sulfur in the center here, and then we'll put oxygens around it. Now we can put electrons, two electrons, a pair of electrons between atoms, and that's gonna form the chemical bond. So we'll put two here, here, and here. So we've formed our chemical bond. We've used six valence electrons out of our 24. Now we're going to complete the octets on the outside atoms, on the oxygens. So we've used all 24 of our valence electrons for the SO3 Lewis structure. Each oxygen, that has eight valence electrons. The sulfur, it only has six. So let's move two to the center here. We'll form a double bond. Now the sulfur, it'll have eight. This oxygen still has eight. So this is a valid Lewis structure for SO3, sulfur trioxide. When we're writing Lewis structures for things like SO3, where we have a sulfur, which is in period three, we know that sulfur can have an expanded octet. So we really want to look at the formal charges here just to make sure this is the best structure. So if you look at the formal charges, they look like this. If you need help finding formal charges for sulfur trioxide, there's a link at the end of this video to help you do that. But what we notice is we like our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. Here the oxygen with the double bond, that's zero, but everything else is non-zero. So if we could make a double bond for this oxygen here, it would be zero. Same here. Let's do that. So now all of the formal charges are zero. This really is the best Lewis structure for SO3. You might note now that sulfur has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 valence electrons, but that's okay. Sulfur is an exception to the octet rule. It's in period three and elements in period three and below, they can have expanded octets. So this is okay for sulfur. In fact, this is the most stable or more likely Lewis structure for sulfur trioxide. Note that sometimes you'll see the Lewis structure for SO3 written like this here, where the double bond is represented by two lines. And even sometimes they don't draw the lone pair electrons, even though they are there. This also shows us this trigonal planar molecular geometry, which is kind of nice. Either way, this is the Lewis structure for SO3 sulfur trioxide, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.